Hi everyone, it's me, Teacher J. Welcome back to my channel. So for today, we are going to discuss one of the topics of grade 8. Solving corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Let's define first what is CPCTC. It's an acronym for corresponding parts of congruent triangles or congruent. It means that once two triangles are proven to be congruent, then the three pairs of sides that correspond to be congruent and the three pairs of angles that corresponds must be congruent. CPCTC is usually used at the end of a proof to show that two angles or two sides are congruent. Let's have these two triangles. Triangle ABC and triangle KLM. Look at the sides and angles of these two triangles. Side AC corresponds to side KM. So this side correspond, corresponds to this side. And side CB corresponds to side ML. So this side corresponds to this side. And side AB corresponds to side KL. So this side corresponds to this side. How about the angles? Angle A corresponds to angle K. And angle C corresponds to angle M. And angle B corresponds to angle L. Meaning to say, if triangle ABC is congruent to triangle KLM, then all the corresponding sides and angles of the triangle are congruent. Let's have the first example. If segment AC is equal to 5x plus 10 and segment DF is equal to 30, find the value of x. So look at the figure. AC, so side AC, corresponds to side DF. And they are congruent. So side AC or segment AC is congruent to segment DF. Or segment AC is equal to segment DF. Substitute the value of AC and DF. AC is equal to 5x plus 10 is equal to DF is equal to 30. Applying the subtraction property or simply transpose positive 10 to left side of the to right side of the equation. So we have 5x plus 10 minus 10 is equal to 30 minus 10. So cancel this one because this is 0. So we have 5x is equal to 30 minus 10 that is equal to 20. And then using MPE or simply divide both sides of the equation by 5, x now is equal to 4. So the value of x is equal to 4. Using the same figure and problem, but we are going to find the exact value of AC. Since our value of x while ago is 4, and AC or segment AC is equal to 5x plus 10, substitute the value of x, which is 4. So we have segment AC is equal to 5 times 4 plus 10, and then simplify Segment AC now is equal to 30 units. Let's have example number 2. If CB or segment CB is equal to 5x minus 14 
So this side and segment XZ is equal to 4X plus 6. So this side, find X and the exact value of segment XZ. So side CB or segment CB is congruent to segment XZ. Or segment CB is equal to segment XZ. Substitute the value of CB and XZ. We have 5X minus 14 is equal to 4x plus 6. Simplify, we have 5x minus 4x or simply transpose 4x to left side is equal to 6 plus 14. So, tinranspose ko lang po yung negative 14 sa papuntang right side of the, the equation. So, simplify, 5x minus 4x, that is x, and then 6 plus 14, that is 20. So the, the value of x is equal to 20. We are going to find the value of xz. Since xz is equal to 4x plus 6, and our x is 20, you are going to substitute. So we have segment xz is equal to 4 times 20 plus 6. Simplify xz now is equal to 4 times 20, that is 80, plus 6, that is 86. So xz now is equal to 86 units. Let's have example number 3. If the measurement of angle C is equal to 5x plus 3, 5x minus 3 rather, and the measurement of angle X is equal to 2x plus 42, Find X and the measurement of angle C. Angle C and angle X are congruent. Angle C corresponds to angle X and they are congruent. Substitute the value of angle C and angle X. We have 5X minus 3 is equal to 2X plus 42. And then simplify or simply transpose positive 2x here to left side of the equation. We have 5x minus 2x is equal to 42. And then transpose negative 3 to right side becomes positive 3. 5x minus 2x that is 3x is equal to 42 plus 3 is equal to 45. To solve for x, simply divide both sides of the equation by 3. x now is equal to 15. So the value of x is equal to 15. Let's solve for the measurement of angle C. Measurement of angle C is equal to 5x minus 3. Substitute the value of x, which is 15. We have the measurement of angle C is equal to 5 times 15 minus 3 and then simplify the measurement of angle c is equal to 72 or that is 72 degrees thanks for watching if you have questions or clarifications just type your question po sa ating comment section keep safe and god bless